verify that the fluid supply and air supply are connected and then turn them both on. Observe that the inlet air status bar is green, which indicates that the inlet air supply pressure is above the minimum required 70 PSI. To prime the isolation system, press the power button to enter standby mode. Note that the system is currently empty. Enter prime mode. Prime shows in the menu bar. The ground rod icon indicates that the system is grounded. The air pressure to the gun is off, but the fluid pressure to the gun is active. Set the gun fluid pressure to avoid splashing or speed up priming. Trigger the gun into a grounded metal container until paint exits the gun. The isolation pump inside the cabinet does not fill in prime mode. Prime mode is used to load the hose and the gun with paint. Set the gun fluid and air settings using a defined preset or on the home screen using preset zero. Refer to the gun setup procedure in your gun manual to select the best gun fluid and air settings. On the home screen, press the enter screen button. Use the arrows to navigate to the airfield. Press the enter button to register the value and advance to the fluid field. Press the enter button and then exit the screen. Setting the pump fill settings. The max fill setting is used to limit the amount of paint in the system and reduce waste. Unlock the setup menus by pressing setup. Press enter screen and use the arrows to navigate to the max fill setting. Enter the maximum fill and start fill settings to meet your application requirements. When the gun trigger is released and the pump fill level is below 500 cc's, the system will refill. These settings will be dictated by the application. Once the system is primed and you enter the spray mode, the isolation pump in the system fills automatically. Turn the electrostatics on at the gun and verify that the ES indicator or Hertz indicator is green. Now we're set to spray with electrostatics. As we spray apart, you will notice that the display of the pump fluid level changes. When the level reaches 50%, the light tower turns yellow. When the painter releases the trigger, the fill sequence starts. If you do not want the system to fill, activate Do Not Fill. Do Not Fill is commonly used at the end of a paint job. As we continue spraying the part, you will see that the charge icon is displayed, indicating the ground rod is up and the system is capable of holding a charge. Also, the system voltage level is displayed. Again, you will see the light tower turn yellow, and when the isolation pump is nearly empty, the light tower turns red. We are nearly empty and the part is complete. Because do not fill is active, once the pump is empty, the system waits until another mode is selected. For the fluid voltage discharge and grounding procedure for flushing, Verify that the ES on-off valve on the back of the gun handle is in the off position. Check that the ground rod status indicator shows the ground symbol. Check that the voltage level reading on the control interface reads 0 kV. Then touch the gun electrode to the handheld grounded rod. Now we are going to demonstrate the purge procedure. Shut off the paint supply to the unit. Change the mode to purge mode. Trigger the gun until paint stops flowing. Switch to a cleaning fluid to completely fill and empty the isolation pump to flush it clean. Turn off the do not fill. The system fills completely. Trigger the gun until the fluid runs clear. When the pump is empty, the system will refill. Follow the pressure relief procedure outlined in the manual. 
Change to off mode. Turn off the air supply and fluid supply to the system. Trigger the gun to relieve the fluid pressure. If you are servicing the system, relieve the pressure inside the cabinet by following the complete system pressure relief procedure outlined in the manual.